So welcome. Okay. I don't know what the title G Machine is about. There seems, I think there's like a whole story going on behind these episodes, but it doesn't seem to really factor into anything um, in the levels themselves. Chase is on. Marble Aura. Ow. Ow. Who shot me? Oh, hello. Hey, you've actually got a uh, death sound. And there's an angry tree. Which I can't shoot. Doesn't actually change direction to shoot towards me. Uh, but visually it doesn't change. I don't think any enemies have had, uh, like, death grunts or anything like that so far. more of those jump boots. I can jump on the clouds, okay. Not those clouds, though. Okay, big dragon thing. Can destroy these pillars. I guess there's a slight indication that you can destroy them because there's um there's some extra cracks in them, but oh, and I can shoot through the pillars when I'm right up close to them. Okay, I can't jump up there. It's not Jazz. Hmm, I don't know what character that's supposed to be.
<laughs> Wonderful. Right? Fantastic. Yeah, the background and the blocks does make it a little difficult to tell where you're supposed to go. The colours are just a bit too similar. over here nope okay Nothing over there. Oh, hello. I'll just jump down here rather than fight you. Okay, let's head back over here because there was, I think, another block I could just could destroy. Yeah, there we go. What's this way? Thank you. 
Anything else? Nope. Okay. I guess just a bit of extra ammunition. I like these big flying dragon thingies. It's neat how you can like shoot sections off them. I thought I was shooting it. Apparently not. Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? Rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. Okay, in that case, the lava is fake. Why? Uh, because reasons. Time bonus, okay. Though I don't think time is actually like in Super Mario Brothers where you run out of time and uh, you die. In this, I think the time is just for a bonus. So it seems a little odd to have like time extension bonuses when it's not to stave off losing. Oh well. Lucky. Yeah, I think enemies reheat, like, heal up again when they go off screen. would make that guy there extremely irritating to try and get past. I see their sprites flickering on and off screen for some reason. Yeah, it's like an extra minute or two. I would have thought the uh, 
hourglass is uh for um freezing the enemies, but oh well. Just like dusting of lava, no biggie. Yeah, it's no problem. I mean, you know, convection. Nah, don't have to worry about any of it. Can keep some of this shield up until that guy right near the end. Nope. He had other ideas. Yeah. I can't jump over that. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, <laughs> there's the uh, checkpoint, good. Just in time too. Yeah, that lava's fake as well. Fake lava. Somehow I don't think that one is. I would just run forward, but, uh... Uh... 
You know what? I was going to say this way is uh, more dangerous, but I don't think it is. I think it's actually easier. Come on, jump up there. It's hard to jump off a slope when you're when you're running down it. I guess because you're sort of you're sort of falling off of it. Come on, I did this before. There we go. Fine, whatever, I'll take that. You know what? I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. Don't use the bounce pad to get up there. Just jump up there normally. I find it a bit hard to gauge exactly how high Jazz can jump. It's because it changes depending on how fast you're going. Kind of like an entire screen in height. Sluggy on. Wow. That looks very uh, Sonic <laughs> from what I remember from what I remember of it. Sort of the abstract uh grass and uh, blocks for terrain. Can't say I think it looks as good as some of the other levels. It's a little flat in terms of uh, I don't know, the shading and so on. There's a slug. It's got a little saddle. It's some kind of bat thing. Hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, I saw some invincibility up there. Can I get to it, though? This is back where I was, isn't it? Oh. Okay. There's no health over here, is there? No, there is a bird. Hmm. That didn't help matters. Welcome. Uh, I'll just run past you. I really need launchers or toasters to uh, deal with you easily. Just anything aside from the normal blaster. It'd be nice if you could get bonuses to make the blaster bolt bigger. DOS game. Uh, this is a CD release version of uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit, but yes, it was originally on DOS. In, uh, I think it was released in 1994. Previously, I had only ever played the uh, shareware version of it. Hang on, there are some other things down there. Oh, I actually apparently have to go down here anyway. This way, drop down here. From my experience with the uh, full episode so far of Jazz Jack Rabbit, uh, having only played the shareware before, I like the variety that they've got. Um, 
though. You can hear the, the butt there. Um, I have to say, it does a lot of the things which I generally don't like in uh, platformers. Hiding enemies off screen, uh, dropping down into areas where you can't tell where things are. Generally, usually it's just things which require you to like memorize the level beforehand is kind of a pain. Enemy shooting you from off screen. What am I supposed to do there? Nothing. Over this way. Super saddle slugs. Get out of here. No. Wasn't there a cartoon of this too? Um. Not to my knowledge. You might be thinking of a cartoon called Bucky O'Hare. Maybe? <laughs> Since that featured a rabbit. I have not watched that. I just know of it by name. Um, oh, you're fast. It is also kind of similar in style to like Earthwind Jim, which also had a uh, TV series, but I'd say Earthwind Jim would be a better platformer than this. <laughs> I don't know. Earthwind Jim's a lot more of an action platformer. I guess... Hmm. I do like Earthwind Jim. It's very difficult, but I feel it's more hmm, difficult in a bit of a fair way. I don't know. I don't actually know whether I've ever finished it or not. Uh, normal difficulty. I must have. It was back in your hair. Is a bucky even green also? Or is he blue? I think it's something like that. That's it. Ow, damn it. It's like it's, it was a show which I've never seen. Earthwind Jim cartoon is an awesome show. From what my watchings of it, I do like it. Uh, let's see, Earthwind Jim was voiced by Ah uh, Wasn't Dan Castellano, was it? Yep, there we go Dan Castellano, thank you very much For my watchings of it, I rather enjoyed it for, you know, being a sort of, I would assume, rather cheaply made game uh, cartoon tie in. I think it did pretty alright with what it was. Uh, with what it was. Oh, they just pass through each other. Okay, they don't bump off each other. Bump off of each other. Uh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. Earthworm games, Earthworm gym games were pretty hard for what you remember. Yeah. I think I had a lot more, a lot of familiarity with Earthworm Gym 1, so I kind of knew what to do with them. But uh, there was some levels in that which, yeah, are very difficult. Earthworm Gym 2, I believe some of the levels are harder. Um, I haven't played that since I have the uh, special edition version of Earthworm Gym for the uh, PC. Which I think is the best version in terms of music. <laughs> Sorry, people who played it on the on the SNES or uh, whatever other platforms. Sega Genesis, I think it was also on. Um, Earthwind Gym Two. I think that was actually released on the PC as well, but I never had it. Uh, but some of the levels in Earthwind Gym Two. Uh, I have played it. I, I do remember being uh, kind of massive pains. Let's see. <laughs> There's a whole ones where you're uh, puppy love, where you're having to bounce the uh, adorable little alien dog puppies with a giant marshmallow. Uh, otherwise they go splat. Those get progressively harder because you do it several times in the in the in the uh, game. Uh, there's ones where you have to. It's like a top-down view, and you're riding on the rocket, and you have to uh, guide a large bomb on a balloon to the end of the level, avoiding basically everything shooting at you along the way. Oh no, I think it's like dudes getting launched by catapults to attack you or something like that. It's a very weird game. Uh, <laughs> I remember that one being annoying. <clears throat> Once again, the trousers of evil are yanked down by the mocking hand of justice. Sounds like something Darkwing Duck would play, say. So we're nearly through with this. There we go. Yeah, that slug disappeared off screen, and then when I came back, it was there. It's just annoying. I don't trust them not to put an enemy in my path, so. Oh no. Jazz has disappeared. Darkwing Duck is also close to. Yeah, he'd say it's more something like, I don't know. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the stuck zipper on the trousers of just of evil or something like that. Oh, the turtles are asleep. There's some good animations for the sp character sprites in the game. Maybe they had too much variety to really put an effort into the, uh... Into the, uh, enemies which they had. They have to, like, spread themselves a bit too thin. Oh. Okay, I guess we're swimming. And we've got a snorkel. <laughs> oh, I have to go in here. Speaking of Earthworm Jim, 
down the tubes was a level which was a huge pain why you end up having to memorize the uh, route in it that's in the first one you are in a glass domed submarine and you have to uh navigate your way through a very cramped underwater uh cave system while finding pumps for air and you can't bump into the edges Otherwise, the uh, dome of your sub thing gets cracked. And uh, too much damage, and well, you drown. I think if I'm playing the game again, I hope I'd be able to remember the correct path of that. I think also Earthwind Gym 1 has got better soundtrack. Earthwind Gym 2 has got good tracks in it too. Uh, but a number of them are sort of just classical music, which I don't really count myself anyway, because as good as it is, it's not really... I guess the buttons are raising the uh, fuel water level. Yeah, they are. Okay. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the wrong number that wakes you at 3 a.m. I am soaked. <laughs> oh, I do like that cartoon. Kind of wish they'd do more of it, but eh. I think they had a brief uh, sort of cameo of Darkwing Duck in the uh, rebooted DuckTales a number of years ago, which I haven't watched either. Apparently it's pretty good. I think it was more in the terms of, you know, oh yeah, Darkwing Duck was a character I played on TV rather than, uh, you know, being actual Darkwing Duck, so. This flooding this entire place with fuel can only end well. Hmm. Perhaps if we end up doing uh, finishing all next three of the episodes of this, I can actually install Earthwind Gym. I'll see whether it can run easily have my CD uh, around here somewhere and I think it should be pretty easy to get it running because I want to play the original version of it I would have wanted to play one of the re-releases they did uh, yeah I think because it doesn't have all the levels uh, the PC uh, special edition version actually had uh, some extra levels in it or an extra level in it uh called oh geez what was it uh big something or other and it was all around trying to uh navigate the level without waking up this large red sort of dinosaur thing 
Big Brutey. That was it. Should also play the Neverhood. That's another good game. Though the Neverhood is an uh, adventure game. They're very delightfully done in uh, Claymation. There is an Earthworm Jim 3D. Or 3. Earthworm Jim 3D. I think it was on the uh, in Nintendo 64. I think I've played that years and years ago uh it's not very good <laughs> it's kind of just a mediocre 3d platformer with a lot of jokes about cows in it superheroes and the evil tweets go together like peanut butter and uh Evil peanut butter. <laughs> I'm evil Jim. I like ev I, you know everything that you like. Well, I hate that. You know everything that you hate. I love it. Something like that. You know. You know the taste of orange juice and then brushing your teeth. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, well, I love it. <laughs> It's a reminder me of the tick too. <laughs> That's another good cartoon. Though uh, I don't, it probably had some gains based on it, but uh, none that I really remember. This is you. This is, this is the earth. It's, this is, it's where you keep all your stuff. And now it's gone. No, not the earth. That's where I keep all my stuff. Okay, nothing down there. I don't think Evil Jim actually featured into the uh, Earthwind Jim games at all. I think it was just in the cartoons. That evil the cat and uh psycho uh, am i missing a button or something around here hold on what else i had i had that goldfish too i forget what his name is Bob the Goldfish, I think it was. I think he's the boss of one of the Earth with Jim 1 levels? Uh, boss. <laughs> I think there was a similar character in one of the episodes of Sam and Max. Wow, we're just going through all these 90s cartoons, aren't we? Um, but I think one of the Earth with one of the uh, Sam and Max episodes had a uh, goldfish as the villain. That cartoon was pretty good too. Again, another one which I watched uh, years later. I didn't actually watch them on TV at the time. I don't even know if they were actually on TV in Australia. I'm going to go with no. Probably weren't popular enough to uh, get aired on TV over here. I think those ones like um biker mice from mars i think that was on tv though i don't i never watched that that was more of a tie-in with toys though rather than a you know, video game or something getting cartoon okay 
Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. Well, there's that. Just got your Earthway Gym DVDs from Australia. Well, how about that? <laughs> they have a DVD release of them? Wow. I need to get some more cartoons on DVD. Or I should get like a... Everything's getting like Blu-ray releases. I don't have a Blu-ray player. Got Darkwing Duck over there and DuckTales. I should watch those again. In ages. I've also got the first season of Gargoyles. Which was fun. Only the first season though. And I've also got like 2001 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I probably watched a bit more of the original back in the day, but uh I don't think the original one is as in I don't think I would enjoy the original TMNT as much as 2001 one it's a little bit too or is it was it the 80s late 80s early 90s I think it's a bit too that period goofy which uh I am lost there is something around here which I'm supposed to hit but uh, I am not finding it Good thing the timer doesn't really ma count. Or matter. Uh, certainly does count. Michael Myers from Mars was a cartoon. They also had a racing game, which you thought was pretty fun. Not sure they had toys. About they had toys. Um, they did. I think some of my friends had, had them. I'm like 99% sure that they did have toys. No, 100% sure, because I watched an Ashens video and he had one of them. It had retract retractable antenna on the uh, biker mice. Biker mouse, which he had. Right. I am, uh... I am thoroughly lost. I am going to uh, go and have a look at a map for this level. Okay. Uh, this was episode four? No, five, yes. I think it's Dream Pipe since the level. Uh Yes, okay. Right, so I'm in this area here. So where do I have to go? Down there? I think so. Okay. Nope. Okay. Let's see. So I need to go... Uh, 
Or here, I think. Never saw them in Norway when young, as far as you remember. I mean, there was like... I don't know, toys made of so many different things. I'm pretty sure there was toys made of Earthwind Jim. Everything had to have a uh, tie-in toy line for the most part. Now we're making progress again. Let's pick up all this. Hey, nice. It's a checkpoint. <laughs> they should have been flippers. <laughs> Did that turtle have to sleep right there on the edge? You think you saw some of the Earthwood Jim toys? You think Jim started as a comic that got made into a cartoon and then got toy release? Um... Not actually too sure. I believe there was comics made by, made of it, but I can't remember whether they came before or after the game. Welcome, welcome. Interesting to see an old, old game like this use 16 10 aspect ratio long before this was even a thing. That might be because this is a re release called uh, Jazz CD. I don't actually know when that came out. Uh, though the original game, you know, came out in 94. Um, but it, they, maybe they updated the uh, visuals to allow for widescreen. Or near widescreen? It's not completely filling up the screen. Though I don't know, because... What are you doing? I don't... Perhaps a HUD has been moved around? I actually haven't uh, paid it any attention. I wouldn't really be able to remember whether it's actually... Whether it's changed from what it used to be in the... Uh, DOS version I used to play or not. Um, assuming, you know, there were the factor of, like, adjusted how wide the, the HUD is to fit the new wider screen. Or maybe it was always this wide. It's possible. It would have helped with the uh, fast pace, the fast movement in the game. Be able to see a little bit further to either side. I don't know. It would have black bars up at the bottom, top and bottom then on the CRT. Oh. 
Hey, there we go. Ooh, hang on, what's this? Hey, a life. Thank you. Yay. Also welcome. Guardian. I'm going to have to split up the uh, recording afterwards as well because I haven't stopped and started the recording when we started a new uh, a new episode. Hello. What's this? A giant owl. Okay. Now it's making babies and they're protecting it. Well. Where have you gone? Ow. Sure. It'd be nice if you could give me some power-ups before I fight the boss. Otherwise, I'm just going to be using the blaster. And that's a bit of a pain. And the bosses in this game also feel a little janky. It's just something about their animations. I guess you're not going to fire any more eggs. Ow. There. Actually, I could just sit over here. I don't think you'll reach me here. And yeah, we'll just wait for him to uh, come back. It's all, like, this is partly what I mean by janky. Quite a, num quite a lot of the previous bosses I fought just by sitting in one spot and shooting like them. And they couldn't get to me because they, they just, like, have a single movement pattern and that's it. So, there. Oh well. Oh, we have a spaceship. Twin battleships are coming. Jazz looks up to see two enormous battleships heading towards him. It's a pleasure to have you with us. The pleasure is all yours. Time for the final clash. The score is now Jazz 5 and Devon 0. Can Jazz shut down the Shellian terrorists in episode 6? Stay tuned to find out. There we go. Okay. Now, I before I forget again, I will uh, stop the recording here and start it with episode 6.